Hi everyone, I'm Brandy from Rosbeth Library and thank you for joining me for this month's Do-It-Yourself Virtual Adult Craft Program. And today we're going to be making beaded sun catchers. So I'm really excited about this craft and um, can't wait to get started um, and show you guys uh, how to make it. It's very simple and um, you guys are going to have a wooden dowel in your craft kit, just like this one, which I've already um, started the sun catcher. Um, have most of it finished, but you're gonna have your wooden dowel, you're gonna have your uh, your beads, and you're gonna have fishing line. And the last thing you're gonna need is yarn that's gonna be provided in your kit. All right, so we're gonna take a piece of fishing line. It's very hard to see, but I have a piece here, and I'm going to tie it around the wooden dowel. And I'm gonna need to tie it in a couple of knots um, to make sure it's secure. And sometimes it can be um, difficult to get it uh, tied around the wooden dowel, but make sure it's tight. Tie it in a couple of knots. And then you can get started stringing on your beads. All right, so I have a piece here tied on, and then I'm gonna start stringing on my beads. And you can string on any type of beads you want, um, any type of um, color doesn't have to be perfect. Um, there are plastic beads and glass, key, glass beads provided in your kit. And these beads can be found on Amazon, um, at Walmart, um, or any craft store. more beads I'll do one more I really like the big glass beads I think they um, work really well and they show up um, really well and reflect the light really well um, so once we are finished stringing our beads, we're gonna want, we are gonna wanna tie the fishing line around the, uh, the last bead. Um, you can't just make a knot and tie it because um, the fishing line is gonna go right through the hole of the bead. So we're gonna tie it around the bead itself a few times, just so it's secure. And then we're gonna Take scissors and cut the extra fishing line that we do not need. Just make sure that this is secure properly. Just cut the extra line off. And then um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to secure the top of your fishing line uh, because I noticed when um, I was finished stringing my beads, um, each strand would slide on the dowel, so I put a little piece of scotch tape along the top where the fishing line was so it would not slide on the dowel, just to keep it secure. And then um, you're going to want to take your yarn and wrap it around the dowel. I actually have this one tied already, so I'm just going to slide it in um, onto the dowel. Tie one end, and then I'm going to tie the other end, and voila, you have a beaded sun catcher. I hope you guys enjoyed making this craft. Um, I will be sending uh, emails to all of our participants who signed up um, with the link to our YouTube tutorial video. You can pick your craft kits up next week. Um, anytime um, beginning Monday, uh, February 22nd. Um, and please look uh, for our next um, virtual adult craft. Um, we will have the registration to sign up for the do-it-yourself Sharpie tie-dye scarves um, starting tonight. So um, I hope that you have a chance to sign up for that and everybody enjoy making your beaded sun catcher. Have a great day guys. Bye-bye.